up Kilo crew and welcome to today's video. Today I am coming at you guys from beautiful and sunny Las Vegas, Nevada where I am here to celebrate my dirty 30 birthday. This is my first full day here in Vegas. I got in yesterday and kind of explored town just a little bit. Went and saw a show. Yesterday was actually the 4th of July so I stayed up late and watched the fireworks along the strip which was absolutely incredible. 10 out of 10 recommend doing that. It was crazy crazy crowded though. And then the show that I watched was called Extravaganza. But anyway it is bright and early in the morning and my hope is that that means that restaurants are going to be relatively dead and the restaurant that I'm hoping will be kind of a ghost town because everyone's like tired and hung over is the Wicked Spoon Buffet over at the Cosmo Hotel. Most restaurants have been booked solid so I'm gonna try and see if I can get in to do one of their world-famous brunch buffets over at the Wicked Spoon. So you guys know how much I love to <laughs> take down a good delicious buffet and see how much uh, damage I can do uh, when it comes to packing away the plates, packing away the grub. I will catch you guys over at Wicked Spoon. See you in a bit. <laughs> just got in line for Wicked Spoon Buffet. It was insanely crowded. Like, we're just like shuffling through. <laughs> like cattle. I was able to get into Wicked Spoon. I only waited about a half an hour and for roughly $65 after a tip for the brunch buffet here, I have free reign over delicious breakfast options. So to start out, I wanted to try, because I've heard nothing but good things, the beef bone marrow. So this is round one. We'll talk you guys through it just a little bit. That is rich. You don't get much, but it's very rich. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Get that. Right here I have a duck and pork carnitas taco. Super exciting. So I'm going to leave those and try some of these riblets over here after I finish this. 
beef. Very crispy, gotta watch the bone. Nice.
got it off. I might pair that with some ice cream in one of the next rounds. That was really good. Okay, next I want to try this chocolate and orange coat. Seems interesting. If you like chocolate and orange, that's all. Awesome. Right over here. Next up, I'm going to try the s'mores brownie. Ooh, that's nice. Graham cracker on the bottom, chocolate in the middle, and then topped with marshmallows. Next up is this really beautiful, I believe this is a cookies and cream cheesecake coming up here. Wow, that is rich, but awesome. Getting me primed for another round of savory. Pineapple upside down cake time. That is fluffy, lots of layers. Here we go. Wow, that tastes like some. Let's do the other half with a piece of chocolate. Um, okay, next up is some sort of strawberry pastry. I can't remember the name of it. It looks really good though. It's got like ridges. Thank you. Kind of cool. I should probably remember what this was called, but I don't. Ooh. Reminds me of a toaster strudel, but fancier. Mm. That's a winner. The coffee has returned. Let's dig into this croissant. Nice and basic. I don't have anything with it. Just wanted to try. It's a good croissant. Not as good as the other pastry, so, so we're gonna save room and hit up round three. Four plates down, who knows how many to get. Let's hit. Tomato sauce is 
sauces, it's like all over it. It's so awesome. Hands down. A very good way to get it. Let's make a little sweet transition and go into this peach cobbler. That is a beautiful thing. Crunchy. It's gonna be a big bite. Look at those peaches. And it stays super warm. Like that is warm, warm. Again, I should have gone all a mode with it, but I didn't want it to melt. Yeah, that's awesome. Cobbler is always a solid choice. Okay, next we're gonna try one of these pork trotters. I did not try it, this was over at the Asian station. Super glistening. Lots of sauce. Wow. Again, you have to be careful for the bones, but that is rich and fatty.
fluffy looking little fella. Ooh, very soft. That's pretty good. It's kind of a weird combo. It's very tart and sweet at the same time. It kind of tastes like a cocktail, but it's dessert. I don't mind. Try and squeeze in time for one more plate. I also don't want to be too miserably stuffed either because I'm going to be walking around the strip all day. It's 110 degrees. So I would say seven plates by the time we're done here will be a pretty good meal. So let's go get to the last one. I feel like 
like it, they have just finally sat out a little bit. Still good, but a little bit more like kind of dried out now. So I'm going to save that little final bite because another one of my favorite things to get at a buffet, red velvet cookie. Always a good move. This seems a little bit brittle, but we'll see if it's chewy. Not my favorite cookie texture, but good flavor. I believe they're peanut butter chips in this, uh, in this red velvet cookie, which is unique. Very interesting. A little crispy for me though. I like a chewy cookie. So let's finish up with the white chocolate coffee gelato, which has like little like white chocolate wafers in it. That's really good. That coffee flavor is subtle. This is a good finale to a wonderful brunch experience. You couldn't possibly try everything here in one day. I think you'd have to come here at least three days in a row to try everything. And even then I believe the menu options change, so. You won't get bored in here and you will definitely find something that you enjoy. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this up. Head back to my room. Probably relax by the pool for the rest of the day because nothing says pool body like a buffet breakfast. So I'm gonna catch some rays. Maybe do a bit of walking. Overall, great experience here at the Wicked Spoon. Really enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. 